the divine chaplet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again from the dead, ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In our prayer before Mass, Eternal Father, I unite myself with the intentions and affections of our Lady in sorrow for the Calvary. I now for the meat and sacrifice which died the other Son of Abraham himself on the cross, and which he now renews on this holy altar. I offer it in the name of all mankind, with the Masses which are now being offered, and all those which will be offered throughout the world this day, to adore thee and give thee the honor which is due to thee, to bless thee thy supreme dominion over all things, and the absolute dependence of everything upon thee, for our one and last end. We thank thee for the memorable benefits we have received, to appease thy justice to rouse against us by so many sins, and to make satisfaction for us. To implore grace and mercy for myself, for thy church, for all afflicted and sorrowing, for poor sinners, for those who have promised prayer, for the entire world, for the holy souls in purgatory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good morning to you all. Today, as we pray for our families, we also pray for the peaceful repose of Drum Drummy Keshe by Mary W. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Francis Xavier. We begin this celebration in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. To celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have truly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. We Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength. That what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. We make our prayers to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city hath we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace, for its trust is in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.
Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. That is in the humanity 
among persons. I love God. I serve God. I do everything concerning God. I must bring it down to the reality. I must show it to where my brothers and sisters are. Oh, he has a golden heart, the heart of Jesus, because he loves. God is love. And that is why he's saying, because some that proclaim, Lord, 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 but they have that heart, that strong heart, an unforgiving heart, a heart that does not love. But they keep on saying, Oh Lord, I love you, I love you. Jesus said, The person is a liar. The person should first of all love me and love one another. Show the love to where the humanity is. And he continues saying, But the one that does the will of the Father in heaven, what is the will of the Father? The will of the Father is that we will love God, serve Him, be with Him now and forevermore. And that's why God created us here on earth. While loving God, serving Him, we know that Jesus said, Whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren, that you do unto me. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. That is the will of God, that we will serve Him while serving Him, we are serving one another. While serving one another, we are serving Him. He took on His mountain, that is His tower. He went and started washing the feet of His disciples. After He said, Do you know what I have done? Do it to one another. You call me Master, and that is what I am. Whoever wants to be the greatest must be the servant. To all, and that is the teaching of the gospel. Brothers and sisters, he says, while we are doing all these things, we are solidly, solidly constructing our house on the rock, on, on a solid place, not on a fragile place, but on a solid deep foundation we are constructing our house because rain will come, wind will come, floors will come, they will not pull the house down. What are the winds? What are the rains? What are the floors of nature? They will most surely come. They are what we pass on every day. We pass through them every day. They are the challenges of life every day. We pass through sickness. At times our loved ones will be taken away. We continue to cry. At times many things we happen in our families, even in our lives. We continue to lament. Some we go on cursing God. Where are you? Where are you? Why is it that you are not near me? I have dedicated my life in the, in the service, uh, in the service in the church. I have dedicated my life serving in the church, serving you. But right now, I am having challenges. Where are you, Lord? Time shall tell. Those things might happen in our lives. Lord, why am I so sick? They will happen in our lives. Lord, why have you taken mom or dad or this granddaughter, this grandchild? They might happen in our lives. They are ups and downs, challenges that come at times in life. They will come. We have to build solidly our faith in the Lord. When they come, 
look unto Jesus. Do not fall back. Look unto Jesus. Backward never, forward ever. Let us, in this precious time, gather all our prayers and petitions together. For all who hold leadership positions within the church, may God strengthen and guide them as they witness lives of faith and service let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For our national and local leaders, may the Holy Spirit lead them to find peaceful solutions to conflict and division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For those who are most vulnerable to the virus, may the Lord place them under his care and protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 hear our prayers. For an end to abortion, euthanasia, and all the offenses against the dignity of human life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For those who serve our country and its people through their service in the military or as first responders, that they remain in our prayers and find God's peace in the midst of perilous challenges, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all in our faith community, working to aid those in need, particularly our Stephen ministry leaders and caregivers in formation, that God bless them with compassion and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the faithful departed, including August Snyder, for whom Our Lady of Grace candle burns this week, May the Lord grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our personal petitions, let us pause in silence. For all of these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Lord, we thank you in a special way for calling us to be your sons and daughters. We ask for your grace, especially when challenges and winds come to our lives. Grant us your challenge, grant us your grace to face all those difficulties through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice may be acceptable to Almighty God, our Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make. 
carried from among your gifts to us, and by what you grant us to celebrate devoutly, below, gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who work for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are glad. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of all of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts to be prayed by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Oscar our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced into eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is just forever and ever. Amen. Let us with confidence pray to the Father in the ways our Savior gave us, our Father. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ always be with you. Let us offer each other the Son of God's peace and love. Lamb of God,
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O oh Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you through Christ our Lord. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.
Oh, 